NVIDIA continues to anchor the AI revolution, not just through its own dominance in the GPU market, but by extending its influence across a growing ecosystem of strategic partners. In today's analysis, we'll examine NVIDIA's position amid increasing AI demand, the evolving role of companies like CoreWeave, Navitas Semiconductor, and Recursion Pharmaceuticals, and why the data infrastructure underpinning AI models is entering a pivotal phase. The financial markets are watching closely, and so should any investor focused on long-term exposure to AI innovation. Let's start with NVIDIA. The stock has retreated slightly over the past month, down approximately 6%, but remains solidly up for the year, with gains of 23.9% year-to-date and nearly 19% in just the past quarter. These are not just speculative moves. They reflect the enormous and ongoing demand for high-performance AI chips, demand that continues to exceed supply. That dynamic was underscored recently by Sam Altman, who remarked that OpenAI will cross well over 1 million GPUs brought online by the end of this year. He went on to suggest that the next challenge will be scaling AI compute capacity by 100 times. Whether or not that's technically feasible in the near term, the underlying point is clear. The AI industry remains compute constrained, and companies like NVIDIA are central to the resolution of that bottleneck. Supporting this outlook is new data showing that ChatGPT alone now processes approximately 2.5 billion prompts daily. About 330 million of those originate from US users, confirming the platform's entrenched position in the digital landscape. An open A. I isn't the only one driving this momentum. Competitors like XAI, Google's Gemini, and Perplexity are all accelerating their own infrastructure investments, many of them powered by NVIDIA chips. That brings us to Alphabet's upcoming earnings, which NVIDIA investors should be watching closely. Alphabet's capital expenditure trends and commentary on AI workload demand could offer indirect insight into the scale and durability of NVIDIA's customer pipeline. As hyperscalers transition to larger, more power-hungry AI models, the question isn't whether they'll buy more GPUs, it's how many and how fast. Meanwhile, CoreWeave, a private cloud infrastructure firm specializing in AI workloads and one of NVIDIA's largest GPU customers, made headlines this week with a significant debt move. On July 21st, CoreWeave announced plans to issue $1.5 billion in senior notes due in 2031. The stated purpose is to fund general corporate activities, including repaying existing liabilities and covering issuance costs. There are two ways to interpret this. Optimistically, the capital raise could signal ongoing infrastructure expansion, a necessary step to meet growing AI compute demand. More cautiously, it could be a refinancing strategy to restructure near-term debt. Either way, the company's year-to-date stock performance, if publicly traded, would be remarkable. While recent days have brought a 28% decline over the past month, CoreWeave is still up a staggering 212% in 2025 alone. Investors should keep an eye on how these debt proceeds are deployed and whether the company's partnerships with NVIDIA and others translate into scalable revenue growth. Another company riding the AI wave is Navitas Semiconductor, trading under the ticker NVTS. Shares surged 25% in a single session and added another 6.4% after hours. What catalyzed this rally? While there's no specific earnings release yet, those results are expected on August 4th. Recent disclosures suggest growing institutional interest. Most notably, a July 17th SEC filing revealed that BlackRock now holds 4.97% of Navitas's equity. That kind of stake from one of the world's largest asset managers is a powerful endorsement, and it may signal future inclusion in ETFs or broader institutional portfolios. Navitas is positioning itself as a critical player in solving one of AI's most urgent infrastructure problems, power delivery. The exponential growth in AI model size and training requirements has pushed traditional data center designs to their limits. Hopper GPUs already operate at 1,000 watts each. 
NVIDIA's Blackwell chips are pushing that to 1,200 watts, and the upcoming Rubin platform is expected to reach an astounding 2,500 watts per GPU. With these figures, entire server racks are now consuming 100,000 watts, 10 times the traditional design threshold, and projections suggest that could reach 1 million watts per rack in the coming years. This is not a gradual shift. It's a leap that necessitates a fundamental re-engineering of the data center power chain. Navitas specializes in gallium nitride, GAN, and silicon carbide, SIC, technologies, both of which are ideally suited for high-efficiency, high-voltage power delivery. What makes Navitas unique is its role in enabling NVIDIA's 800-volt data center architecture. Unlike legacy systems that require multiple energy conversions and step-downs, resulting in wasted energy and excess heat, this new design allows power to flow directly from high-voltage grids to the server racks via solid-state transformers. The result? Over 90% end-to-end -end energy efficiency, with 400 times lower current and significantly reduced thermal load. Strategically, Navitas isn't just partnering with NVIDIA. It also has direct relationships with hyperscalers and, surprisingly, with Infineon, a larger competitor in the power semiconductor space. This dual sourcing agreement highlights Navitas's credibility and its unique value proposition. If a top-tier competitor is willing to collaborate rather than compete head-on, it suggests Navitas has something genuinely differentiated. Looking ahead, management expects data center applications to comprise over 60% of Navitas's total revenue by 2027. That's a bold forecast, but one that aligns with macro trends and the increasing electrification of AI infrastructure. Finally, we turn to recursion pharmaceuticals, ticker RXRX, a biotechnology firm leveraging AI to accelerate drug discovery. NVIDIA not only partners with recursion on research and modeling, but also owns a stake in the company. While RxRx is down roughly 11% year-to-date, the stock has rebounded strongly in recent weeks, gaining 32% over the past month. There wasn't a single news event driving the latest spike. Instead, it appears to be part of a broader rally in speculative AI stocks, possibly triggered by a short squeeze. However, Recursion did secure full rights earlier this month to a promising experimental therapy, adding potential value to its pipeline. This move, along with NVIDIA's ongoing involvement, adds credibility to Recursion's use of AI in drug development, a field still in its early innings but with enormous upside potential. At current valuations, all three secondary names, Coreweave, Navitas and Recursion, should be approached with caution. These are not mature, cash-flow-positive enterprises. They are high-volatility, high-risk plays that rely heavily on forward-looking growth assumptions. That said, the underlying technology trends they're targeting, AI compute, power optimization, and bioinformatics, are undeniably foundational to the next decade of innovation.